What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of The Little Things. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Is The Little Things suspenseful? Yes. Are the performances of Denzel, Jared, and Rami solid? Yes. But if you're hoping for this to be the next gruesome serial killer thriller since David Fincher's Masterpiece 7, well, you might want to keep your expectations low. Where this movie succeeds in its cat and mouse chase, it sorely lacks in its unraveling. The psychological aspects only go so far until it falls into the usual tropes, and the slow pacing doesn't help either. Sure, the twist reveal might entertain some audiences, but I find it subpar and unsatisfying, as if we are cheated out of a much more proper conclusion. Written and directed by John Lee Hancock, in The Little Things, Denzel Washington plays Kern County Deputy Sheriff Joe Dick Deacon, who sent to Los Angeles for what should have been a quick evidence-gathering assignment. Instead, he becomes embroiled in the search for a killer who is terrorizing the city. Leading the hunt is Sergeant Jim Baxter, played by Rami Malek. Jim is impressed with Dick's cop instincts and unofficially engages his help. But as they track the killer, Baxter is unaware that the investigation is dredging up echoes of Deke's past, uncovering disturbing secrets that could threaten more than his case. I do admit, watching three heavyweight caliber actors like Denzel, Rami, and Jared duking it out in one film is something that I would pay to watch again and again. Whenever you get a chance like that, it's a bonus point even if the script or everything else about the movie has its shortcomings. But don't get me wrong, The Little Things is not all that bad. John Lee Hancock paves the setup quite nicely at the beginning, including the MO and the investigative methods, akin to a mystery novel really, down to the way in which the three characters collide. I understand that the idea is to sort of project Denzel's character's mistakes onto Rami's, like history repeating itself, and that's a careful way of saying it without spilling spoilers. But I feel that that's done at the expense of the team-up or the working partnership that often comes off exaggerated and Jared Leto's somewhat cartoony character. There's a scene in the middle of the film where Denzel and Jared literally find themselves on the opposite sides of a two-way traffic with one tailing and the other evading. You see, tense moments like that is when the little things really shines. But other than that, the mind games are not sufficiently impactful, nor riveting. Even in the interrogation room, where you would expect fireworks, but what you get instead are just some basic pressing buttons and alpha male puffing out chests. Again, if you want to use David Fincher 7 as a comparison, if Jared here is the equivalence of Kevin Spacey there, well then Kevin Spacey did a better job of getting under people's skin in less than a few scenes than the long-winded chatterbox Jared. Halfway through, I feel as frustrated as Rami's character is. When the script suddenly becomes hollow and tedious, leading to what I consider to be an anticlimactic ending. I can go on and on and on, but overall, the little things will rattle the cages of some thriller fans who just want to watch a performance-driven detective story. But to me... This movie is just a mere protege of past films that have done it more effectively.